Hi, I'm Oriana, and today we'll be talking about sweet potatoes. Enslaved African Americans used sweet potatoes in their diets because they were familiar with yams, which originated in West Africa. The recipes that they used for sweet potatoes were the same for yams, and we'll also be talking about the importance of the yam crop in West Africa. Now, there are a few differences between yams and sweet potatoes. In North America, we tend to call sweet potatoes yams, but in reality, they're actually not the same and they're not re related at all. Yams grow up to a few feet long and then sweet potatoes are usually around this size. We find sweet potatoes on our local grocery stores and markets, but yams are native to West Africa and Asia, and you can also find them in the Caribbean. Sweet potatoes are usually brown on the outside and orange in the flesh, while yams are usually purple, white, or sometimes a pale yellow in the inside. For centuries in West Africa, the yam crop has been celebrated through the yam festival, which is also celebrated to bring in the new year and the new crops. They would throw away the old yams of the previous year and celebrate the new ones by making a huge stew or making common dishes like fufu soup. Also at the yam festival, they would cut up the, soup, the yams and wrap them in leaves. And they would also season them with whatever spices they had. And the interesting thing about that is when West Africans were enslaved and brought to the Americas, they kept that tradition with sweet potatoes. So we have a few sweet potatoes, collard leaves, and salt and pepper. They would have taken the sweet potato and cut it up like this, wrapped them in the collard leaf, and they also would have just seasoned it right before they wrap it up and put it in the fire. So first we'll just start by cutting some sweet potatoes. Take a collard leaf, place it on the plate, and take a couple of pieces of the sweet potato. And they would use whatever spices they had near them. So I'll just take a little salt and pepper. And then you'll wrap the sweet potatoes up in the leaf, the stem going behind it. And next we'll take the sweet potato and cover it in hot ashes so it can roast. So now we're going to check our sweet potatoes. We'll take all of the hot ashes off. And they're nice and soft. 